nice to see. You guys look delicious. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here at the Midnight Theater. We hope you have a wonderfully revolting time this evening. I can guarantee it. <laughs> Hi guys. Bruce just decided he needed to be in my lap right now, which means I'm like, I feel like I'm making this video in my wingback chair with my weird little lap dog. <laughs> it's a vibe. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the Haunted Hayride, Los Angeles Haunted Hayride, which I went to, uh, it's been a few weeks now. Um, and I went on opening night. I did the first time slot at 7 p.m. because I like to go to bed early. And um, this is my second time doing a Los Angeles Haunted Hayride event. My first time was last year. Um, I'll post the video link up here. That was probably my favorite experience from Vlogtober last year. And I remember like when it was time to start looking at the calendar for this Vlogtober, deciding if I was even gonna do Vlogtober at all because um, I had to go through and delete a lot of stuff. Like I realized in like August, as I was kind of looking at all of the stuff that I had planned, I'm like, well, this isn't gonna happen this year because of the pandemic. And I was like, just deleting everything. And when I had to delete the hayride, I was really sad because I was that had like the top slot that was gonna supposed to come out October 1st. And um, I was really looking forward to it and realizing I wasn't gonna get to do it. it made me really sad. So then when I found out that they were gonna modify the events and the show would go on, uh, I was super excited. So I try not to look at other YouTubers like videos and stuff when they do the same events as me. Um, I try not to look at them until after I make my video because I don't wanna like repeat what other people are saying. But based on what I have seen on Instagram, it kind of seems like the people who did general admission, which is what I did at the Hayride this year, um, were a little bit underwhelmed. And um, it seemed like though the people who did VIP, which is an upcharge, um, it seems like those people had a great time. So, I mean, my ticket, I don't know off the top of my head what the VIP price is, I'll put it on the screen, but my ticket was $60 for one car with up to two people and I just went by myself. Um, and I had a $10 off coupon, so it was $50 and even that is, it's pretty high. Um, my favorite part of the event was the drive up, actually, like not even being in the show portion, but like the drive up um, while you're waiting to park your car, which was probably, it probably took about 15 minutes to drive in. And they put out some of the old like props and um, I keep wanting to say exhibits, like it's a museum, but they put out the uh, displays, I guess. Some of the displays that they had last year, um, no scare actors out there or anything, uh, but it was still really cool. And I'm actually going to insert that at, toward the end of this video. I'll put the timestamp on the screen. So you, if you wanna go just fast forward and not hear me talk, uh, you can see that. And then at the end of the drive up, you get to where Monty Revolta is with his little radio station. And um, that was a big draw for me. I loved Monty Revolta. He was probably one of my favorite things from last year. And so to find out that he was gonna be there again this year um, made me even more excited to go. And I feel like they had him set up at the perfect spot to kind of get everyone excited and uh, welcome everyone to the event. So you see him like right as you're getting into the parking area and then you go park your car and it's set up kind of like a drive-in movie theater where there's like a screen in the front and everyone's parked like you back your car in and so you're facing the screen and um then it took probably about 10 or 15 minutes to wait for everyone to park and then they started playing these like short scary films that i believe were made just for this event and um while the movies were playing they had the scare actors kind of walk up and down the rows of cars so the way they sent the scare actors out was they would send one set, like one costume, um, every other row. Um, hopefully, I don't know if I'm explaining that very clearly, but so you could see one set of scare actors in your row, and you could also see from afar the row in front of you, and then the row after that would be the same as your row. So basically you got some interaction with the people in your row and then the row in front of you, you could just see them from, from afar. And basically I'm saying that there were some cool costumes that were on the row in front of me, that it was nice to see them from afar, but it would have been cooler to see them up close also. Um, another thing that I wish is that I wish the event was like a little bit longer um, because from the drive up, so from as soon as I started the, the 15 minute like driving portion, um, until it was time to leave, it was a little bit under an hour. 
Um, and that's including the time like waiting for everybody to park, which took 10 minutes or so. Um, and it just kind of felt like the movie portion, it like just barely started and the next thing I know it was over. So I don't know, it's like tough to review this event because it is so different from what they've done in the past. I also feel like the Hayride, um, I've seen some other uh, scare events and it seems like the Hayride prioritized like safety more than some of the others. And I know like based on seeing other people's videos, there are some scare events where I was like, if I had been there, I probably wouldn't have been totally comfortable. So I appreciate that the Hayride, you know, it seems like they took a lot of precautions, their actors were trained well, and their staff um, to make sure everyone stays distanced and safe. Um, also, I could be wrong here, but, I, but I, if I remember correctly, I think that it sounded like all of these types of events were going to be totally cancelled, and then um, it seemed like it could happen under certain uh, if certain rules were being followed, and I don't think the Hayride got a ton of time to prepare. Maybe prepare is not the right word. I'm probably trying to say they didn't have a ton of time to plan. They just had to come up with their plan and, and put it in action, and I feel like, I mean, I'm hoping that by this time next year things are a lot better, but if they had to do a similar event next year, I think that it would go a little bit better. But I don't know, I mean even though the show wasn't exactly what I would have hoped for, it was still really nice to be there. It was great to see the scare actors. I'm glad that they are able to work and do something that they enjoy and get paid. Um, and I appreciate them being there. I appreciate that they put on the show in the first place and that they are trying to kind of navigate this weird time. Also, I'm sorry this isn't more of a vlog style video. That is what I intended, that I was going to vlog while I was at the event. But to be honest, like not really knowing what the event was going to be like, I felt like a little bit like I was doing. It reminded me of how I feel like in my distance learning class where I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at. Is someone going to call on me? So while I was there, I kind of just sat back and watched. Um, so that's why you didn't get a vlog for this day. But uh, I still wanted to come on and say something. Uh, so I guess that's about it. So now I'm going to show you my favorite part of the event, which was the drive up. It was really cool to see all of the, um, the props and everything set up. Also, let me know in the comments if you guys went to the Hayride this year. Um, let me know what kind of time you had and what tickets you got also, because it seemed like that kind of influenced, um, people's perceptions. Um, but I'm curious to hear what your experiences were like and what you thought of it. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> He's been here the whole time. He's felt he fell asleep. You smell like a tortilla chip. You smell like a tortilla chip. <laughs> All right, bye guys.
you for joining us here at the Midnight Theater. We hope you have a wonderfully revolting time this evening. I can guarantee it. <laughs> hey, genius, play it out here. 